Are you feeling the love today? Are you filling your cup today? How do you drive on an empty tank? How do you pour from an empty cup? (laughs) These are the questions. These are the questions, my friend. And this is the message for you today. So grateful for you as well. Thank you. Blessings. Now today, this message actually comes by way of Ivana, our friend, our good friend, who has inspired us with this message today on the importance of filling our cup. Are you filling your cup today? Comment down below. Let us know how are you filling your cup today? What are the ways in which you fill up your cup? We all have different ways in which we do it. For we all do it in different ways. She says, the day I wanted to know how does the love I was giving so freely away feel was the day my life began. You only feel what you fill yourself with. She says, fill yourself with love. Feeling true love is first and foremost filling yourself with it. This is Self Love by Ivana. One more time, that last time, one more again. Feeling true love is first and foremost filling yourself with it. So feeling is filling. I like how that puts it. How are you feeling? You, have you heard people asking you this? Hey, how are you today? Hey, how are you? How, hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you feeling? No, really, how are you feeling? But they also might be asking, how are you feeling? Because we feel what we fill, right? How are you filling yourself up today? And what are you filling yourself with? You know, when we take the time to fill our cups with love, with peace, with joy, happiness, we are able to pour it into others. Now, this is not selfish, right? This is necessary. Self-love is not selfish. Self-care is not selfish, right? The things we do for ourselves, we actually do for others as well. We have no choice. Everything you do affects the collective. Everything you do for yourself bleeds out. Everything you feel, think, and feel internally is affected on the external level. This is one of the hermetic principles, the hermetic laws of correspondence, as above, so below, as within, so without. So harmony on the inside is harmony on the outside. When you love on the inside, you see love all around you. So how are you giving yourself the things that you desire in your life, the things that you look for, How are you feeling what you have filled from within? Now, what are some ways that you fill your cup? Let us know some of the ways that you do it, my friend. Because sometimes we can find that, isn't it so? Our cup may feel empty or may seem empty because we have poured out more then we have poured in. Have you ever felt drained? Have you ever felt lethargic, fatigued, stressed, exerted, stretched, squeezed by life? Well, what comes out is what's inside, just like a fruit. When you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. You don't get pineapple juice, right? You don't get grape juice. It's what was already inside. It's what we have filled. That's what we feel. So 
It could be said that if you feel anger, it might be something that has been filled before. But if you feel love, couldn't it be said that love was there already? It was what was already filled within. So, don't pour from the empty cup, my friend. Won't get much. Make sure that you are pouring in. Here's some ways that you can fill your cup. Rest. Fill your cup with movement, right? Rest, get that nap nourishment, nap nutrition. You know, take a nap. Sit your down, they used to say. <laughs> Boy, sit your butt down. Get some rest, right? Some R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. The parasympathetic breath. Allow yourself to recoup, recover, reinvigorate, revitalize, renew, restraint. You know, be reborn in that rest. Movement. My friend calls it movement nourishment. Move in the body. Get yourself a dance dinner. You know? What does Ralph Smart say? Infinite waters. Do a little samba, baby. <laughs> laughter too. Laughter. Laughter could be like a laughter lunch. How could you fill up your cup with laughter? It's something free. Laughter is free and you can't OD. Thank goodness. I cannot overdose on a dose of laughter, giving yourself those feel-good chemicals, the serotonin, the oxytocin, the dopamine, all those things that we look for externally, we actually can fill ourselves with internally. Being out in nature, right? You hear the birds, you hear the, the squawking, the ducks out there, you, you hear the cicadas, you hear the insects going on. Being out in nature, you feel so abundant because you can't help but see abundance all around you. Every leaf on this tree, I know every leaf is me, and I am every leaf. You are abundant, you are prosperous, you are opulent, just like all you see on every tree. Creation, filling up your cup with that energy, that energy which is that sexual energy of creation. How are you using that energy? Are you filling your cup or do you feel left depleted? When I stopped depleting my sexual energy, I was left with so much more for creation. It revitalized me. It invigorated my life. Whenever I was able to cultivate, instead of allowing it to dissipate and denigrate and disintegrate out the body, if it's not flowing out that channel, it's coming up this channel, the energy is transformed. The energy is transmuted. The energy is used for something. How are you using your creativity? Alone time, taking time for yourself. Blaise Pascal once said that all of humanity's problems stem from our inability to spend time in, our, in a room alone. Can you spend time with yourself? Can you be alone without being lonely? That is the question. How often do you spend with yourself? Do you take yourself out on dates? I took myself out on a date just yesterday. We, we went to see Black Widow at the movie theater. I said, oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, you bought me tickets? Boy, come on now. That's the homie. <laughs> I said, oh, we got front row seats? I said, yes, we did. I said, boy, you shouldn't have. I said, yes, we did. I took myself out on a date. Don't wait. Appreciate. Don't wait celebrate don't wait congratulate because life is worth it you are worth it take yourself out to eat go skating right go to the beach go to the park go walk around go do something for yourself and enjoy filling up your cup connection that's another one. Conversation cuisine. Have you ever had a conversation with someone that just filled your cup up? You came in the conversation feeling depleted and afterwards you were like, Ooh, thank you. I appreciate you. Conversation cuisine. You felt full afterwards. It wasn't draining. 
It was gaining. And reflection, you know, it's one of the ways that we can learn wisdom through experience, imitation, and reflection. Taking time for yourself, for reflection, for introspection, for meditation, for contemplation. How are you making sure that you fill your cup up? So my friend, may we understand and know that when our cup is empty, we do not mourn. Because if we do, we may miss the opportunity to fill it again. Don't mourn what is gone when your cup is on empty. You might miss the opportunity to fill it again. And when you do fill it, make sure you don't go all the way down. Make sure to spill into the saucer. Pour from the overflow. Give from the tip of your life and allow the best of your life and the breadth of your life to be given. Much love, thank you so much. Thank you for being, wow, wonderful, wonderful beings. Thank you for joining here. Yes, yes. <laughs> awesome. So Nikita says she fills her cup with yoga, breath work, and alone time. Much love. Yes, yoga, breath work, alone time, definitely filling it up. Hey, Nicole, connecting with Natalie, connecting to the power of nature, surfing, breath, ritual, dance, and laughter. I love that. Great ways to fill up your cup. Wonderful, Nicole. Hey, Haruka san. Haruka says, sun. Nature, the beach, music, art, and dancing. Hey, I love it. Of course. Wonderful ways to fill up that cup. Hey, Depender, thank you for joining. Natalie says, connecting with friends like Nicole. Oh, much love. Eating healthy. Yeah. Playing b-ball. Hey, oh, oh you, you be hooping? You be hooping, Natalie? Oh, I see you on the court now. Come on now. She got, hey, she got hops. Being in the sun, so nourishing. I'm about to go sun gazing. And movement, much love. Yeah, David said, do a little samba, baby. Come on now. You know it. Oh, shoot, shoot. Y'all forgot y'all play b-ball, huh? Nicole says, laughing until my face hurts, right? Mm-hmm. So good, so good. It's the, it's the pain you love to feel. Haruka said connection, yeah, connection nourishment. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, alone time, taking yourself on dates. Yeah, people think I'm very uh, outgoing. No, I'm a very introverted person. I enjoy my alone time. I actually recharge my batteries alone, <laughs> away from everyone. But I enjoy being here with you. This is, this is part of my filling my cup as well and spilling from the overflow. This is something that is my pleasure to do my purpose boy you have yeah <laughs> david said boy you bought me tickets <laughs> yeah there you go don't wait you got it conversation cuisine dance dinner oh y'all are on it i love this i love this breathing and gratitude look at that thank you thank you majida abdi i love it and thank you for sending that mantra that wonderful mantra yeah such wonderful frequency medicine you have streaming through you. Thank you for being a conduit. Thank you for being a light and being a beacon for those, showing them the way. I appreciate you. You are appreciated. David says, I fill up my cup with all the ways mentioned, committing my to my life coaching. Awesome. Just committed to a 350 per week program with my coach. Wonderful, brother. Wow. You turning it up, man. So much love, everyone. Thank you so much for being. Appreciate you sharing the breath here today. Enjoyed your presence, your love, your energy. I feel it all here. Thank you for dropping the love, the hearts, and sharing this. 
definitely if you're watching this on the replay drop a nugget of wisdom that you were able to take away with you and tag someone in this video that you feel would learn from this message or gain value from this message that we have today ding the bell notification next to my name to be notified whenever we do these live sessions and check out the open palm podcast the link is in the bio for you there for your listening pleasure your daily inspiration my friend be well be blessed be healthy be love fill your cup up and let it spill from the overflow. Fill that cup and let it drip, 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 baby. Take care, we will catch you again very, very soon. I have a feeling we'll see you again. Much love.